He made a name for himself first in rap and then as a TV and movie star. In addition to his legendary diligence and hard work, he began to garner success not only with comedies and action films, but also gained significant attention with his performance in the biographical drama Alley. Will Smith was born Willard Christopher Smith Jr. on September 25th, 1968 in Philadelphia, USA. At the age of 12, he began rapping and four years later met Jeff Towns, with whom he formed the successful duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. To follow his dream of becoming a star, Will even gave up a scholarship to the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. At the age of 18, he became a millionaire after the release of his album, Rock the House. Moreover, his commercial success was followed by winning two Grammy Awards in the category of Best Rap Performance. However, his much successful collaboration with Towns broke up after Code Red, 1993. Before that, Smith had already tried to make it as an actor, but that doesn't mean he hasn't also occasionally returned to his original profession. He also has two solo albums to his credit, 1997's Big Willie Style and the two years younger Willennium. Back in 1990, Will Smith was offered a role in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, a sitcom about a poor young man who moves in with relatives in one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Los Angeles. The comedy series garnered audience acclaim for six years, and Smith was nominated twice for a Golden Globe Award for it. His acting and especially comedic talents could not be untapped, and soon he was being cast in films. He first appeared in a small role in the television comedy The Perfect Date, 1990. He then played prominent supporting roles in Where the Heart Takes You, 1992, a melodrama about a group of teenagers on the rough streets of Los Angeles, and in Made in America, 1993, a comedy about the search for a biological father starring Whoopi Goldberg. Smith's first notable performance, however, was in Fred Schapese's drama, Six Degrees of Separation, 1993, starring as a gay young man. Film audiences first took notice of Smith in the action film about a pair of black cops, Misfits, 1995, in which he starred alongside comedian Martin Lawrence. The film's action and comedic highlights built on the best of the buddy cop films, and Will Smith suddenly became a film actor cast in big budget spectacles. The very first of these, Roland Emmerich's Sci-Fi Independence Day, 1996, about an alien attack on Earth, became one of the hits of the decade, and Smith, as a top fighter pilot, was one of its biggest stars. Surprisingly, the sci-fi comedy Men in Black became a big hit a year later. Thanks, among other things, to the perfectly complimentary duo of Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. The conspiracy action thriller Enemy of the State, 1998, was only slightly less popular, but a series of successes was bound to be followed by a series of downfalls. The biggest flop so far was probably the adventure film Wild Wild West, 1999. The overwrought comedy, in which Smith was seconded by Kevin Kline and Kenneth Branagh, became an easy target for critics, and Smith also won two Razzie Awards for Worst Performance of the Year. After this flop, Will Smith gave up big-budget films for a while and starred in two notable dramas. First, he co-starred with Matt Damon in the sympathetic Robert Redford-directed golf retread The Legend of the Glorious Return in 2000. Then came a starring role in the drama Alley, 2001, which Smith reportedly decided to do only after being talked into it by Muhammad Ali himself. Director Michael Mann's biopic of the most famous boxer of all time was to become Smith's great triumph. Therefore, the actor prepared himself diligently for the role both physically, he gained over 20 kilograms of muscle mass, and as an actor. The fact that he managed to convince us of his qualities as an actor is evidenced by his Oscar and Golden Globe nominations, among others. However, the film did not find its audience. The logical step to regain the stamp of a popular star was to bet on the continuation of the hits of the past years. First came Men in Black 2, 2002, but the filmmaker's efforts failed with a not very inventive script. The second meeting of the Smith-Lawrence duo in the action flick Misfits 2, 2003, was also over the top in terms of the amount of action presented, but the film lacked the charm of the first. Shortly thereafter, Smith tried to make a name for himself in the futuristic science fiction film I, Robot, 2004, 
which was inspired by Isaac Asimov's short story collection. The film, however, relied more on visual effects in Smith's charisma as a tough detective than on Asimov's invention. Smith eventually appeared as an unconventional romantic hero in the comedy Hitch, The Modern Man's Cure, 2005, starring his partner, Eva Mendez. In 2003, the highly ambitious Smith embarked with his second wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, on the production of the autobiographical sitcom, All of Us, for which they both wrote the theme and in which they also appear frequently. However, the man who considers his biggest professional mistake to be turning down the role of Neo in The Matrix may have yet to face the challenge of his life. He has repeatedly declared that he will become the President of the United States. Maybe in 10 years, he says, we'll see it.